This is a fairly ordinary trail running sock. Let's put some water in it. This is a bridge deal storm sock. Trail running in winter time, especially in locations like this up in the glens of Antrim can very, very quickly become a miserable experience because nothing makes me, and I know many other runners as well, feel miserable more when you're out on the trails than cold, wet feet. And in this video, I just want to show you the really simple product that has solved those issues for me. Let's take a look. been out for over an hour now on the boggiest wettest dampest route I ever run up here if I had just done that run with my speed goats as normal my feet would have been numb from 15 minutes in and I've been out for over an hour and I'm not even joking because the first puddle you hit when the water is that cold at least for me I have a real hard time keeping my feet warm they just go numb instantly When I step in, um, I don't get that like really cold, numbing rush of freezing cold water. I get more sort of like a slow, cold seepage. So there we go. I've been standing in that, that water. Free, my hand, look at the color of my hand. My hand is numb. I'm standing in there for a minute and my feet are no more cold than when I first stepped in. My feet are not cold. They do feel a bit damp, but they're not cold. Oh, <laughs> so much mud of these. Shoes, absolutely soaking on the inside. These are not waterproof shoes. Uh, the water gets in, the water drains, straight back out again. But what I've got on my feet are, this is a bit awkward, are these. These are Bridgedale Storm Socks. Bridgedale, it's actually a Northern Irish brand, come with a waterproof membrane in them. They're waterproof socks. When you're out in these at the start, you can go through puddles, you can go through rivers, and the water will not get in. It'll get into your shoe, and you'll kind of feel that cold flush, but it won't actually get into the sock. Now, just for clarification, sometimes when you go out in these socks, at the end, you will find some damp in them. Now, 
I think either it's sometimes it's sweat that gets trapped in there, or sometimes if you're like submerging your foot in water above the top of the sock, the water kind of gets down in, sort of soaks its way through the fabric. And possibly some can eventually pressure its way through the membrane. I'm not so sure. Bridgedale do say they're 100% waterproof. But the key thing is that it's only a very small amount of damp that actually can get in. And when it does get in, it tends to get trapped and warmed up similar to how a wetsuit works. So your feet still stay warm. warm. And that's what counts. And especially they wear warm when wearing shoes, which are not waterproof. My previous go-to technique in the winter has been to get a pair of, oh, has been to get a pair of running shoes. They've got Gore-Tex in them. Run in winter, totally waterproof. If the water does get in, it kind of warms up in the shoe and keeps your feet warm. And they're just a lot more warm and toasty than they are normal running shoes. The problem with that is that I can't really wear those Gore-Tex shoes in the summer because then they make my feet sweat and my feet get damp and they're too warm in the summer. They're far too warm. And the other disadvantage of buying a dedicated pair of waterproof running shoes is that um, once the water gets in, it can't get back out again. <laughs> It does stay in and it does warm up, but it sloshes around and it tends to make your foot slip and slide around the inside of the shoe. With these socks, the water gets into the shoe and if it's a not if it's a non-waterproof shoe, the water will make its way back out again. They're not cheap. They're about 35, 40 pounds, but I find I've got like a significantly long time out of these. This pair here are at least two to three years old and I'm still wearing them. They're more comfortable than you'd think to wear. You think waterproof socks are these gonna be like wearing like rubber on my feet they're not really in the inside it's got a nice soft fabric um, and on the outside it's fabric as well the waterproof liner is sort of is in between sealskin make a similar sock but um, personally I quite like the bridge deals you can uh, you can check them out and that's my method of keeping my feet uh, warm when running in the winter if you find this video useful please hit like please feel free to subscribe and make videos about outdoors running technology that kind of thing and if you're out and about running maybe I'll catch you on the trails bye bye